Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk to you today about something the Lord's been dealing with me about, about the whole armor of God, but then you know, it's just one piece of it. Let's go to Ephesians 6. Of course, that's where it's at. Ephesians 6, verse 1. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. The Lord was dealing with me that the shield of faith was the cross. So when we take up the cross, we're taking up the shield of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, there's another scripture I want to go into that's going to kind of tie this all together for the this is first Corinthians 1 18 for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of God the power of God we're taking up the power of God with the shield of faith faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen John three sixteen. for God so loved the world you know we all know that scripture awesome it's time we stand for Jesus it's time we take up the shield of faith against all the garbage and crap sorry if I should say that or not but that's going on all around us sometimes in our family sometimes in the world sometimes on the news sometimes in you know I'm not trying to politicize it but in all that realm take up the shield take up Jesus Make a stand. I just want to be that vessel that God can use, that meet for the Master's use, that the Holy Spirit can pour down through, that Jesus can pour down through, that God can pour down through. So I'm going to take up the shield of faith. I'm going to take up my cross. Not my cross, Jesus' cross. There's, there's not power in the actual physical cross or, or that. It's all in what was transpired in his authority, his sacrifice, his obedience, his carrying the weight of the sins of the world. And because of that, we can stop the devices of the enemy of our soul. There is a heaven and a hell. God and Satan are real. So, Time for us to take up the shield. Stand for what we know is true. Put on the whole armor of God. It's all held together by the blood of the Lamb. I mean, read the whole scripture. The helmet of salvation, beach out of the perspiration of the gospel, lines good about the truth. Just, it's awesome. But we need that. It'll guard our hearts. Let's go to Philippians. I want to read this one too because this kind of, this kind of does tie tie in with all this Philippians 4 4 and 6 be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and minds through Christ Jesus It's time for us to just take up that shield of faith. When you have a shield, you're really not anxious. You really don't have a lot of issues. You know that you're going to have some protection. You feel protected behind it. It's time that we stand for what we truly, really believe. The cross of Jesus. The sacrifices that were made. The blood of the Lamb. And portray that to a lost and dying world. And speak the truth as Christians. It's just an awesome time we live in. Look at some of my other videos. I'm going to keep this one kind of short because I want to keep it on, on that theme of the cross is the shield of faith. Just kind of dive into it. Um, there's some awesome ones, awesome videos on there. Just please look at them, comment on them, share them with other people. 
you can email me at Steve Youngstrom at Yahoo.com or YoungstromSteve at gmail.com. Got any comments, questions that you want to personally send me? There's one on there about a free book. The Lord inspired me to write a book about vision that He given me. That's just a gift. Spent over a year going through the Bible, adding scriptures to each vision. Left out the interpretation of the visions because it's for each individual reader. That's what the Lord told me to do. Just a tool. We all have gifts. Let's use them. God wants the body to stand up, to be accounted worthy. Whatever your gifts are, I don't know. It might be the gifts of tongues and interpretation. It might be the gift of prophecy. It might be the gift of healing. There are so many gifts in the body of Christ. It's time, you know, it's not about the guy with the mic anymore. It's about the body. It's about your gifts. What are your gifts? Use them. It's awesome. Anyhow, take up the shield of faith. Cross the Calvary, Jesus. Stand against the wiles of the devil in your family life, in your church life, in the world life all around us. Seems like mess and chaos and craziness, or can be. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It's awesome. The shield of faith. Anyhow, that's my message, the shield of faith, being the cross. Um, please look at some of my other messages, because it's not about me. I just want to be that vessel, like I said, that's used by God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit to flow. 35 years it took me to get here. And you know what? My Christian resume is not a Christian resume. I like to tell people I say twice, once at 20 and once at 53. I had a prodigal son experience, angry at God for years over something stupid after walking from him and knowing the truth for years, a lot of years. Stumbled and fell because of trials and tribulations, still letting God walk, walk through them with me, but that's in one of my other videos. But anyhow, it's all another message. God is awesome. 35 years it took me to get here. So please, please. Pick up that shield of faith, the cross. We love you guys. Hope you all listen to some more of these. Comment, feedback, whatever. Just you know, let, let us hear from you. We love you. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Bye-bye.